Good day, ladies and gents. My name is Kilzo and welcome to Coffee Pots. It's been a while <laughs> since uh, I've actually posted the video uh, because it's a little bit hard these past few days. I talked about it in uh, my discussion section of the channel. Uh, I've been away, but anyway, uh, I'm here now with uh, the new Coffee Pots. Many of you are going to... I don't know, ask or be angry at the title, just from the sets, but please let me uh, hear me out. I was not going to make this video until right the very end, because no one knew who was responsible for what happened in Nice. Uh, was it a terrorist group? Was it uh, just this guy who went batshit crazy? But yet, what happened was this guy who was a French citizen for many years. He was working as a delivery driver, I think, for ice cream or candy. Versions are different. He went and managed to kill 84 people in a single night on the Bastille Day, which is a very nice celebration uh, throughout their people. So, if you, if you don't know, just go and uh, see what Bastille it is. It's a great celebration. Like, it's a very big one. And what happened was, he took the opportunity and killed a lot of people. Many children were among the dead, around 50. There were many critically wounded. There were many lightly wounded. And some are still fighting for their lives. So, I was baffled when for the first couple of days no terrorist organization actually took the blame for this act. Uh, and now, just minutes ago, I just read that ISIS have said a statement that they are responsible for the attack. So there I am, here I am, I'm doing this. Uh, let me now explain my title. The terrorists have indeed won, at least in several different aspects, one of them being fear. They have managed to inflict fear upon every European country, including my own. They have managed to inflict so much fear that people are afraid to go outside. People are uh, advised to not go outside, to stay at their homes, to have curfews, to have uh, regular checkouts by military, to not be able to move freely, for women to be advised to not dress so openly, to not provoke immigrants or potential terrorists and radical Islamists. Uh, regular Muslims who live in Europe, who have made a living in Europe, who have been here for generations and they're purely uh, ordinary people like us have been put to, to to so much pressure right now that they're basically going crazy. This is what happens when uh, you don't you don't do anything. What do I mean by that? You don't do what it is necessary or what you can do with all the resources that a country should have to fight such crimes and such heinous acts. And I don't want anyone to tell me that the countries, NATO, America, Russia, the European Union is doing everything they can to prevent this. Don't you even dare say that. Because this is, those are countries with intelligence operations, with armies, with so much information, with so much people, so many people, so much human resources to penetrate, to investigate these cases before they happen, to spy. They have the opportunity to spy on everyone. So don't just tell me we couldn't see that coming. You, you don't have the right, you don't, if you have the balls to say that, then you're a fucked up liar. And you should be gone from any form of government power. The truth is, all, all that, all that, everything that's happening, 
be it here, be it in one of the Muslim countries, be it outside of Europe, be it wherever. It only results in one thing, and that's innocent people dying. That's families, children, innocent children being killed, being squashed under a truck by some crazy person who believes something. This is what happens. And while everyone is waiting for their own country to do something, no one is pressuring the country to do something. We're just sitting ducks and waiting. Yeah, they're gonna save us. They're gonna, they're gonna protect us. Well, no. The countries are not going to protect us. And no. They're not going to protect us from the right people. And no. Hate does not do what needs to be done. Because I know what many of you are thinking. All Muslims are now evil. Right? Every time. Every time... This subsides, this feeling subsides, something happens, and it makes you hate them even more. Have you ever wondered why that is? Have you ever wondered that someone might actually want you to hate Muslims, so you hate them, so you, you're being more divided than ever? You have, in every culture, you have bad people. In some cultures, you have more bad people. In some countries, you have less bad people. That doesn't mean that they're not good people. What I want to suggest is we, as people, not as nations, not as different countries or different uh, continents even, we as human beings start to protect ourselves. Be, be, if, even if we're Muslim, Christian, atheist, Hindus, even uh, black, white, Asian, not, doesn't matter. We are people. We should start looking out after ourselves and not wait for a government or governments that have clearly failed on numerous occasions to have protect the innocents, the innocent lives, the people who voted for them, the people who look up to them for protection and security to help us again. Among those in Nice were Muslims, a lot of them. It was, I think, 30 people at least. So I implore every single one human being to start thinking what they can do to stop this. As a human being, not wait for the government. Because if you wait, this will continue. This, this will be a thing. This will be like the next fashion show. You will start to actually predict when it's going to actually happen again. This is how... This is how frequent this uh, those terrorist attack will come. So we should come out with ideas to just protect ourselves, to live better, and to not allow s our children or elders or significant others or friends to die. Because what ha what's happening, every terrorist act is not caused by a nation. It is, called, it is caused by a small group of people who are a little bit crazier than others. And this small group of people needs to be found and needs to be taken care of. Because this small group of people is tarnishing the name of a lot of different groups of people out there. And giving bad names to everyone who is affiliated with them by race, country or belief system. So... Let's focus on the problem, let's see what we can do, and let's do it. Okay? Or are you going to wait for your country to save you again? My name is Hilda. This was Coffee Thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, if you have any comments, post them down below. I don't have an outro for this. It's Hilda from Disgustings. Cheers. See you again.